All right, let's start this off. We're going to be going over time, speed, distance problems. So to start that, we're going to be using this ratio right here at the top. So it's going to be speed, speed over your rate index equals distance over time. So keeping that in mind, let's go over to page 67 if we're going to be following along with the book. We're going to be going over questions 1, 2, and 3. So for question 1, it gives you a distance of 310 and a speed of 220. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the speed, we're going to take it, it's going to be at the top of this ratio, speed is going to be on top, above your rate index. So we can estimate here, these are pretty close, so it's not going to be down to seconds, so we can just use minutes on this one. So let's go ahead and take this, we're going to be, um, we're going to be on this side, of the E6B, we're going to be starting with the speed. So the speed is going to be in this white section right here, and then in the blue section right here is going to be the rate index. So what we're looking for is this one hour rate index right here. So we're looking for a speed of 220, and then we're going to line that up with one hour. So we're going to come up here, right there it's 2-0, we're going to take it over to 220. Now, we have our speed of 220 over our rate index. So now, we can go back to our ratio right here. And our ratio is going to be distance over time. So we're trying to find our time. So now, we can go, we're going to be looking for the distance, which in this case is 310. And it's going to be on the outside. So we're going to be looking on the outside. So right here is 310. So for 310, how I like to do it is I like to take this part right here as that line. I like to line it right up with, with, the, uh, with the spot right on the outside. And then I look right on the inside. So right here, we're looking right at about 80, just shy of 85. So in that case, we'll just keep it in the middle. So it's going to be 81, 2, 3, 4, and a half. So for this instance, it's going to be 84 and a half. But remember, this is going to be minutes. So it's going to be 84.5 minutes. So how I like to do it is I start off right here, I write the time, and then after that, then I go ahead and convert it out into... What the, what the book is actually going to be asking you for. So for here, if we're going to be converting this to, to hours, minutes, and seconds, so if you want to take the 60 minutes off of here, it's going to be one hour. The remainder is 24. And then half of a minute is 30 seconds. And you'll see in the book that the correct answer is one hour, 24 minutes, and 33 seconds. All right, so moving on, number two. So now again, same thing. We're going to be taking a look. Speed over your rate index equals distance over time. So in this instance, we're going at a speed of 430 knots for a distance of 45. So that's going to be pretty quick. So in this instance, we might want to try and use the seconds. So the seconds is going to be right here. It's going to be right after 35. It's going to be right on that 36 mark right there. So that's going to be our rate index. So now we're going to be looking at 430, 430 for our speed. So we're going to take 430 on the outside. So 430 is between 40 and 50. We're going to line that right up with that 36. So 40, 1, 2, 3, line right up with seconds. So now after that, we're going to be looking for the distance, which is 45, and the 45 is going to be on the outside. So that's going to be right here. So I'm going to be lining up that red line right with 45. And then we look on the inside and we see, okay, that's going to be 35, 36, 37, so three, seven, 
I'd say so three five three six three seven three seven seven let's say three seven seven so that's going to be three hundred and seventy seven seconds so how we're going to do that so we're going to take this three hundred and seventy seven seconds so now let's go to our rule of 60 we're going to go down to 360 which means that we have six minutes so in this instance we have zero hours six minutes and we have right here 360 so 377 minus 360 is going to be 17. So a remainder of 17 seconds. And that right there is the same answer that's going to be in the book. All right, moving on to the last one for time. We're going to be looking at number three, 215 for a distance and a speed of 165. So in this case, I'm also going to be using the same rate index that we used for number one. All right, so now we're going to be lining up this one hour with the speed, which is 165. So we're going to be looking for 165. So right there between 16 and 17, line it right up in between them. And then after that, then we're going to be taking 215. We're going to be looking for 215 on the outside. So 215 on the outside is going to be right here. So 200, 210, 215. All right, so in this case, it's going to be right in between 70 and 80, right at approximately, so 75, 76, 77, 78, and Mm, let's say 0.1. So 78.1. So it's going to be 78.1 minutes. So same thing applies here. So we're going to take this number, so 78 minus 60. So we give that one hour, we take that one hour out. 78 minus 60 is 18. And then 0.1, we can go over here to our rule of 60, and we see that 1 is equivalent to, we just take off that last 0, and it equals 6. So right here, it's going to be 6 seconds. So you'll see in the book that the correct answer for number 3 is one hour, 18 minutes, and 11 seconds. That's still close enough so you'll be able to determine the answer from the, uh, from the available options on the test. All right, so now we're gonna be moving on to speed equations. So for, in the, for this instance, we're gonna be looking for the top part of this ratio. We're gonna have the rate index and we also now have the distance and the time. So we can easily go ahead and find the distance and the time on the whiz wheel, find our rate index, and then find the speed. So if you're following along with the book, this is gonna be on page 69. So what I like to do first, whenever I get to these problems, is I like to convert it into minutes immediately. So I like to add this extra row for time converted. So for here, we want to get this into minutes, just minutes, not hours. So one hour is equivalent to 60 minutes. So 60 plus 50 is 110 minutes. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and it's going to be distance over time. So it's going to be 425 over 110. So we're going to be looking for, let's find 110, let's go with 11 right here. So 110, because we're dropping off that last zero, and we're gonna be looking for 425. So 4, 
25. It's going to be right there in between 40 and 45. So now we're going to be looking for our rate index. So we pinch it right here and we're going to rotate it around. So now with it, in this instance, we're going to go ahead. I like to take that red line, have it shoot up. All right. So in this instance, it's going to be between 20 and 25, 20, 21, 22, 23, right there at 23.2. So that would be 232. So that means that the answer for question one for speed is going to be 232 knots. And that's going to be the answer that's in the book. All right. So now we're going to move on to number two. Number two, it's going to be a distance of 300 and a time of two hours. This one is relatively simple and you should be able to figure it out in your head, but uh, just to be on, uh, be on the safe side, go ahead and just work through it. All right, so two hours is equivalent to 120 minutes. Like I said, we're gonna convert that first. All right, so now we're gonna be looking for a distance of 300 over a time of one, two, zero. So in this instance, we're gonna be looking for 300 over one, two, zero. So we're gonna drop the last number off each one of them. So it's gonna be 300, so three, zero, zero if there was the last one on there, and then one, two, zero. So 30 over 12. So now we're gonna rotate, find our rate index. So in this instance, it's gonna be right at our rate index is going to be right here, one hour, and it's going to go up to one five. So that's going to be one five zero. Go ahead. It's going to be 150 knots, which is going to be the same answer that's in the book. Last for speed is going to be number three, the distance of 20 and time of 30 minutes. So for this one, we don't need to convert anything just going to be 30 minutes. So now we're going to be distance over time. So 20 is going to be on the outside and then 30 is going to be on the inside. So 20 we're going to keep at the top, 30 we're going to come down on the bottom. So 20 right there and 30 right there. Now we're going to pinch and rotate until we find our rate index, right, which is right there, one hour. And on top, that's our final answer for time. It's going to be excuse me, our final answer for speed, it's going to be 40. So the last answer, number three, 40 knots. All right, so for these last problems, we're going to be looking for distance. We are given a speed and we are given a time. We need to convert that time into minutes so it's usable for us, and we are looking for distance. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take a look at this ratio right here. So we're given a speed, so we can take our speed and immediately put it over our rate index. And we're looking for distance and we're given a time. So once we align these up, we can go ahead and look at time on the inside and look up for the distance. All right, so number one, if you're following along with the book, it's gonna be on page 71. Our speed is 220. Our time, is two hours. So two hours is equivalent to 120 minutes. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take our speed, which is 220, and align it to our rate index, which for this instance is going to be the one hour mark. So 220 is going to be aligned right up with that one hour mark. So now we're going to look for the time on the inside. The time right here is going to be 120. So we're going to drop off that last zero and we're going to find 12. Take that, take our red line, line it up. Go right on the outside. It's going to be between 40 and 45. It's going to be 41, 42, 43, 44. So now we can add that zero back on and it's going to be a distance of 440. All right, now moving on to number two. We are given a speed of 175 and a time of one hour and 30 minutes. 
So that is equivalent to 90 minutes. So now we can go ahead and take our speed of 175 and line it up with our rate index again. So 175 right there in between 17 and 18, lining it up to our rate index. So 175. So now we're going to be looking for 90 on the inside. So now we're going to go ahead and look at 90 on the inside right there. That's going to be right past 26. So line it right up with that red line. So it looks like 26.2. So that's going to be 26.2. Remember, we're going to move that decimal place over and get that full distance there. Last but not least, we're going to be looking at number three speed of 310 and a time of 40. In this instance, it's just 40 minutes. All right, so now we're gonna take our speed, which is 310, and line it up to our rate index. So 310, line that up right there. So 300, so 31 is right there, line it up to one hour. So now after that, we're going to go ahead and look for our time. So our time was 40. So I'm going to rotate it to the left, find 40 on the inside. Go ahead and line up that red line. What that looks to me is right between 20 and 21. So it's going to be, that looks like 20.6. So that's going to be 206. So if you look in the book, this one is right on the money, this one is right on the money, and this one is off by one. This will get you close enough so that you'll be able to find the correct answer with the given options.